managed to spend hours on the phone until now. Oh. oh. Are you kidding me? Phones are my specialty. I practically have one growing out of the side of my head. <sighs> Bren, what am I going to do? Uh, I think you should just be the big person and forgive him. Yeah. I guess you're right. I mean, I guess the guy can't help getting sick even if he did bring it on himself. I mean, like a psychosomatic thing? Oh, exactly. Believe me when I tell you, Eddie did not want to do this gig. He fought me tooth and nail the whole way. Why, maybe I'm having such a hard time believing all this. I mean, if he didn't do it on purpose, he did it on purpose. You hear what I'm saying? Sort of. But, you know, you guys have invested so much into each other. How can you just walk away? You put on your boots and you start walking. Oh, you really think it would be that easy? It's mind over matter. Oh, come on. You make a decision and you refuse to let yourself talk to the jerk ever again. I'm not saying... That's what I want exactly to happen. But, I mean, come on, if I can't trust Betty personally or professionally, then we got nothing. Do you trust Sonny? <sighs> I don't know yet. Ah! Oh my gosh, why do the cosmetic companies keep on making this ugly shade of purple lipstick? Oh, and why did I buy it? <laughs> I kind of like purple lipstick. You want to know something? My ma had a fit when my brother Louis started hanging out with Sonny. I thought your family liked him. Well, Louis well, we liked him. I liked him. He, you had to like him. Which is not to say we didn't know he was trouble. Was he really that bad? Bad enough. <laughs> but he could look at you with those eyes and flash that grin... Tell me about it. Pure and total meltdown. <laughs> Girl, you got it real bad. <sighs> so do you. Men, who needs them? We do!